It's public knowledge at this point that your online activity is probably being watched or recorded by somebody somewhere, and most of us browse away quite happily, understanding that the trade-off for using the internet in the modern age is, sadly, accepting that big, faceless corporations can keep track of what we do and that we're broadly powerless to stop it. However, it becomes a bit distressing when you start to think about whether someone closer by might be the one watching. And I'm not just talking about hackers, I mean the owner of the Wi-Fi network that you're using. School, office, coffee shop, friend's house, your own home. What can the Wi-Fi owner actually see when you use their internet? As it happens, the answer ranges from not much at all to Oh no, that's rather a lot. How embarrassing or unsettling. Join me as we take a deeper look into what people who control your Wi-Fi network can actually keep track of, how it all works, and whether or not you can do anything to stop it. For Top 10 VPN, I'm Callum. Let's get started. Can the owner of the Wi-Fi connection see what you're doing online? First of all, just to clarify, if by that you mean the internet service provider, then yes. It is always safe to presume that your ISP is monitoring and logging everything that you do. It might also be putting it all into a neat little package and selling it for a profit. We've actually already made a whole video talking all about what your ISP can see when you use the internet, so I'd suggest you check that one out if that's your main concern. From this point onwards though, we're going to presume that we're not talking about the ISP, but rather the person or organisation paying them for the privilege of an internet connection and whoever it is that happens to control that specific connection. Worst case scenario, the Wi-Fi owner has access to a great deal of information regarding the connection, but in reality, a lot of it boils down to what router is being used and how it's configured. For example, here in the UK, my home broadband connection is provided by a company called Virgin Media, one of the biggest ISPs in the country. I did some checking, and the default router provided by that company, which is the one I'd say probably 99% of its customers use, does not store the logs of the websites visited. It might not even be capable of doing so, and any logs that it collects will be stored locally on the router itself rather than being passed on to any remote servers or third parties. I can't say so for sure, but there's a good chance that the default consumer grade routers wherever you live are the same. However, other more advanced routers, like the types that are likely being used in airports or shopping malls or restaurants, are different. Public Wi-Fi routers can likely see a mixture of, or all of, the following. The websites you visit, the apps you use, unencrypted messages you send and receive, your search history, your device's MAC address, your browsing timestamps, and your IP address. This data will be collected by the router and therefore be visible to whoever the administrator is. Lots of free public Wi-Fi hotspots also recoup their running costs by selling that data. There is some slight relief here from a privacy perspective thanks to HTTPS. Every reputable website that you visit on a daily basis will be using HTTPS at this point. You'll know it by the little padlock that appears in your browser search bar. And with HTTPS enabled, the domains you visit are visible, but not the specific individual pages. Uh, not to the web admin and also not even to your ISP. That means they'll know you visited YouTube, for example, but not that you watched this exact video. The Wi-Fi owner also can't see your browser history from any time before you connected to their Wi-Fi, so you don't need to worry about anything you've done on the privacy of your own connection before being exposed. On the other hand, as always, using incognito mode or any other sort of private browsing mode will not do anything, really. All incognito mode does is prevent your device from storing browsing history and information. It does not make you invisible to anyone else. What's pretty funny is the Google Chrome incognito mode at the homepage, it actually says all this. It's just that all that small text is really boring, so no one really ever bothers to read it. Conversely, it's highly unlikely that yours, or anybody's, Wi-Fi bill will contain the specific websites visited during the billing period. Of course, it can vary from ISP to ISP, but I've certainly never seen it before. A fully itemized internet bill consisting of every DNS request for an entire household for an entire month could be hundreds of pages long. It just doesn't really make any sense. What the bill is more likely to contain, however, is a summary of the data used in a given week or even day. For example, if you downloaded a new video game one day, then that day might stand out amongst the others as usage would be 100 gigabytes higher than average or something like that. One last scenario I think that's worth mentioning is if you're connected to a school or work VPN. Even if you're on a device that you own personally, if that remote VPN connection is running, then everything we've just mentioned applies to you. You probably use a remote access VPN to get access to files and folders and networks and websites that are only available to you when you're in school, on campus, or in your office. But think about the logistics of how that works. It's able to give you that because you're essentially connected to that establishment's Wi-Fi. You're just located somewhere else when you do it. So watch out, or at least disconnect the VPN when you want your browsing to go unmonitored. And I should hope it goes without saying, but if the device you're using has been given to you by your school or work, always assume that absolutely everything you have ever done or ever will do on it is being tracked. Now, for the million dollar question, is there anything you can do to stop all this? But you'd never ask. There is, and it's using a VPN. Perhaps not all that surprising given the channel you're watching, but it's true. This 
this is the exact sort of thing that consumer VPNs are designed to help with. When you use a VPN, all of your traffic, both from applications and browsers alike, is fully encrypted before it ever even leaves your device. As a result, even the people controlling your Wi-Fi connection won't be able to see a thing that you're doing. VPNs are cheap, or free even, and quick and easy to install, and shouldn't slow down your internet connection all that much. In fact, because they also hide everything you do, even from your ISP, I personally recommend using one all the time, even if you're just at home. But what about if VPNs are blocked on your device? I know that it's common for laptops lent by offices or schools to be pretty locked down and not allow for any unauthorized software to be installed. If that's a situation you're in, then I recommend something called DNS over HTTPS. We talked earlier about how HTTPS prevents the specific pages you visit from being visible, and this technology works similarly, but for DNS requests. It sounds complicated, but a DNS request is just a technical term for a website you visit. And when you try to visit a website, a remote server has to do the job of taking the name you entered, like top10vpn.com, and translating it into an IP address. DNS over HTTPS takes HTTPS encryption and applies it to those DNS requests, making them eligible. However, there are two big caveats here. Number one is that they'll only be hidden to your Wi-Fi owner. The ISP will still know what you're doing. And number two is that this only affects what you do in your browser all the apps and other software you use will still be visible. As a feature, DNS over HTTPS is super quick and easy to activate, although it does go by different names depending on what web browser it is that you're using. I'll, I'll put quick written instructions for all the big names in the description of this video. It's a sad fact of modern life, but whenever you use the internet, even at home, you should always work under the presumption that someone can see what you're doing. And when you're on public Wi-Fi, don't engage in any super private activity like online banking, unless you have the right protections. If you'd like to learn more about how a VPN could help you, then all the resources you need are in the video description and on top10vpn.com. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, and while you're there, consider subscribing to the channel to help us produce more content like this. Stay safe, and I'll see you later.